Hello and welcome everybody. Tommy Armour Iron Master 1956 model. It's the year my dad was born, 1956. Very good year. Would you consider this? Iron Master, Tommy Armour by McGregor for your all time favorite vintage putter. For me, it's genuinely in my consideration. I'm genuinely considering this. Would I choose this over a ping answer? Hmm, you see, it's very interesting. Maybe in the future we'll do some comparisons and I'll put two putters head to head in a competition to the death. If that, I don't know what that means, but we should have a closer look. Tommy Armour Iron Master putters are pretty easy to recognize because it says Tommy Armour Iron Master here. This is the IM version, not the IMG, made by McGregor. Now, there are some things that distinguish this from other years. Let's have a top line look right here. To me, this is screaming 1956. You can see the A stamp. The A stamp was not there in the 1955 model. The 1955 model did have the chrome surface, hitting surface right here with the sand blasted everywhere else. So that's something that doesn't carry over into the 57 model. So this is clearly a 56 and some other things to look at here real quick. I'm just showing you the flange right here. Might as well show you the toe. The face here. Lovely face. Just a wonderful little flanged putter. Sandblasted you can see all the way around except for the chrome face and top line with the A. Something else that you'll see. This looks very much like a 1956 Turney Iron Master. So obviously Tommy Armour Iron Master, and they made a Turney Iron Master that again looked very similar. Now remember, there are going to be some of these models that have a brass or a copper face instead of a chrome face. So my understanding is those are much more valuable than these. These were just the ones to fill out the orders, you know what I mean? It's like people, people want Iron Masters. And this right here, the crimping will distinguish it. As we're looking at it on the camera, these are going to be horizontal, whereas the 1957 model, they'll be vertical. And there'll be three of them. One, two, three. Either way, they have the pinned shaft right here. Look at this lovely ferrule. Straight, smooth putter shaft right here with a leather grip. And like I mentioned before, <laughs> I'm gonna each one of these videos needs to be standalone, so I'm just gonna mention it again. Uh, if you think a leather grip is romantic, remember you have 50 years of BO soaked into this. So every time you treat it, it's gonna stink. And look, there's no ball marker up here. So clearly not a 1957 model. So 56, Tommy Armour, Iron Master putter. Love this putter. Uh, we should have a go on the putting green. Kind of a little surprise lined up. And that's right, ski ball. Let me just tell you straight up, this putter feels amazing. The feedback the face gives you, it's just absolutely wonderful. It's amazing. This is slightly smaller than my 90s version Wilson 8802 putter. I imagine the original 8802 would also have very similar feedback to this flanged putter. So feels amazing and historically very, very significant because it's from the 30s. I've seen catalogs from the 30s with these flanged Iron Master putters. 30s, late 40s after the war. 50s, for decades and decades, this putter was just a dominant powerhouse in the golf industry. Yes, there are some very famous winners, very famous tournament winnings with the Wilson 8802. Top five putter for sure historically, for me. What else would you throw in that category? Uh, Ping Answer, Wilson 8802, Tommy Armour Iron Master, you know, in more recent history, and definitely could easily surpass this in decades to come, the two ball putter, Scotty Cameron, Newport. I mean, there are some very excellent putters out there, but for me, top five. And if not, I would say definitely in contention for top five status. So let me know your thoughts about that. Now, here's the other question. What would you play with your Tommy Armour Iron Master putter? For me, like, here's a little Tommy Armour 
persimmon wood. Definitely could combine these easily. Find some nice late 50s, early 60s iron set and make a lovely Tommy Armour set here, a McGregor set. So I'm really looking forward to building a set around some of these clubs. If I were to combine a Tommy Armour Ironmaster putter with this particular driver from the 60s, I would probably get one of the later model, or the 60s models, I should say, Ironmaster Tommy Armour putter. So excited to read your comments, excited to know what you would team this with and your thoughts about where would you rank this historically. If you want to support this channel, please visit the link in the description below. Buy some golf balls or something. I make some proceeds from everything that sells through that shop. And give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I am the Vintage Golfer.